In Revit, we have three levels of detail. Now, each of your model views can be set to one of those three levels, and I'll show you now where you set that. So, with no objects selected, we get the properties of the view itself in the properties palette, and you'll see down here, near the top, detail level. This view is currently set to coarse. If I just click on the little drop down, there you can see the three levels we can work with, coarse, medium or fine. You can also change that level of detail from the view control bar at the bottom of the active view and it's the second icon in next to the view scale. There it is and again it confirms detail level coarse, that's what it's currently set to. So again click on that and you've got coarse, medium or fine. That's probably a, a more efficient and convenient way of changing your detail level because you can quickly just click on that icon and change it from there. Now, I will say that these three levels here, the coarse, medium or fine, are hardwired into Revit. You can't change the name of those, you can't delete them, you can't add them. So if you're thinking you would like 10 levels of detail, you can't do it. Everyone is using the same three levels. What you can control though is what is displayed at each of those different levels. And what is displayed depends on the type of family or the type of component that it is. So system families, you can control what is shown at course as a fill, so as a course pattern, and that pattern can have a color. So you can see here the walls, which are a system family, at the coarse level of detail have a coarse fill applied to them. Loadable component families such as doors and windows which have been created in the family editor, you have full control over what is shown at each level of detail and that depends on how you model them in the family editor. Now the detail level that each view is set at is view specific and we've seen that before with view scales. So anything on this view control bar down here only affects the current view. So for example, our level zero GA plan, we might want that at a coarse level of detail, i.e. we don't want to see all the different layers in the walls or the build up of the windows. We just want to see the general arrangement of the plan. So we would leave that at coarse. But for a setting out plan, let's switch and make that active, we might want that at a fine level of detail. So change that to fine, the little icon changes, and now you can see the course fill has been replaced with the actual layers that make up the walls in the system families. The door, which is a loadable component family, being created as a standalone component in the family editor. That has changed to show more detail. Now I'll just switch that back momentarily to show you the difference again. So for the door, the course level of detail just shows a very basic symbolic uh, outline of the door. However, when we switch it to medium or fine, it changes to show us much more detail about the door. Now in this case there doesn't appear to be any difference for the door in what is displayed between medium or fine. Now that is just down to how that particular component has been modelled in the family editor. If desired there could be an intermediate level of detail added to medium when that was modelled or for example um, you may want to display the ironmongery, the kick plates, for example, at the fine level of detail, but not at coarse and medium. So it really is just down to personal choice and how each loadable family has been modeled. Say the system families, such as walls, floors, roofs, all you control is what you want displayed in terms of pattern and color at the coarse level of detail. I'll show you later on in the unit how we can control and set that up. Now I'm just going to show you quickly the concepts and the tools 
of how you control exactly what is shown at each of these detail levels for the loadable component families. So let's take this door. If I select the door, I'm just going to hit Edit Family. This opens the Family Editor. This is a completely separate area of Revit away from the project environment. Now the use of the Family Editor in creating and editing loadable component families is beyond the scope of the beginner's course, but I just wanted to show you the principle. So if I switch to a floor plan for this door family, you can see there's a lot going on in here, a lot of reference planes controlling how the door is made up, um, a lot of parameters to make the door dynamic when it's in your project so you can change the width of it and everything sort of uh, flexes and changes accordingly. But let's just take a door leaf for example. Now these door leaves have been modelled as 3D geometry. Now with those selected if I just go into visibility settings, detail levels, you can see there's our three options coarse, medium or fine and for this particular part of the family, this 3D extrusion, you can see that medium and fine have been ticked. So this is where the author of the component goes through each of the elements that he creates in the family and decides for the three detail levels where they can actually be seen and displayed. So you can see that if you wanted to create, let's say, the, the lever furniture, i.e. the door handles, and you only wanted them to displayed at the fine level of detail, you would go into the family editor for your door, you would create that geometry in here, but you would only tick the fine level of detail for those particular items. Then, when you go back into the project environment, I'm just gonna come out the family editor now, this is where Revit uses those three levels of detail to filter each view depending on the settings and the parameters it's finding in the families in themselves. Now I talked a little at the start of the unit about the coarse scale fill graphics for system families. So I'm just going to finish the unit now by looking at that in detail. So here's our simple model. I'm just going to go to a section view. So we have, in terms of system families, some walls, a floor and a pitched roof. We've looked at the creation of all those elements earlier on in the course. So you can see here with this particular section view set to course as the detail level, there are course fill patterns and their corresponding colors used where the elements are cut through by the section line. So let's take this wall for example. Now the coarse fill pattern and colour are a type property of the wall so you're not going to see it at the top level there, remember those are instance parameters, it's actually a property of the type of wall so to get to that you need to edit type, hit edit type, the type properties panel comes up and in there you will see coarse scale fill pattern and the coarse scale fill colour. So at the moment it's set as a solid fill. So let's go in there. Now you can change to any of these patterns. You can create your own new patterns. So let's just change it to one of these, just as an example. Hit OK. And you can change for that fill what color it's actually displayed in. So let's pick a red there. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Hit OK. And you can see a new pattern has been superimposed into the wall and that will be used for all the wall elements of that particular type and the pattern is drawn in the red colour. If you cross over to the other side you can see the same because that's the same wall type obviously it's using the same coarse fill pattern. Remember that pattern and its colour are only used by system families when displayed at the coarse detail level in each view. So as soon as I switch to medium or fine, that wall now displays its true layers, the layers that actually make up that particular wall type. But switch back to the coarse level of detail and whatever I've chosen in the type properties for that wall, 
as the coarse scale fill pattern and color that is what's displayed exactly the same for the other system families such as the floors and the roof just do that very quickly again there so pick the roof hit edit type and in there you're going to find the coarse scale fill pattern so click on the little drop down pick a pattern for it change the color if need be I'm going to leave that on black for now hit OK and there at the coarse scale you can see that pattern has been used where the element is cut through and that completes this unit to get the most out of this training material please take the complete course online at bimscape.com here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.